Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. And how are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Here's the daily crumb to help you along your way. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whatever time of day this is for you. Welcome to the Daily Crumb with me, Mayish Nivay, Mishiki Quit, your friendly, freaky ass, sweet grass water medicine woman, most Christiana Clark, Chris Clark, Superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. Welcome, all you beautiful divine beings. Right here too. How goes it with you? Yeah, I'm swinging. Gotta swing it now. I feel it. I feel it all. <laughs> I felt it all. The sadness, the heavy grieving. Yes, I knew that silliness. I don't want to bring anybody else down, but I need to honor my own feelings. It's a lot. It's a lot. I'm missing. This is my children, grieving, years that we can't get back now. It's been three years and I agreed to a two and a half month. Very reluctantly felt coerced into that. All of it, lots of coercion and abuse stuff going. You know, I'm in the position I'm in because I didn't agree at the time that I should have agreed because there was two offers to settle that pretty much said the same thing, except for one said, well, if I settled by this time, there wasn't going to be any going after um, retro child support and child tax credit and whatever. But if I didn't settle by this time, if I didn't take this offer, then they were going after everything, including the retro of the child support and all that kind of stuff like that there. Yes, and it's a broken system. I am not the only one, okay? I am only one. I'm not the only one, and I'm doing what I can to help be a part of the change in the system, be the change you wish to see, right? So I'll keep speaking out because it's not just me, and it's the children that pay the biggest cost. It's the children that end up carrying the most weight from it all. Think about these littles inside. How much did we carry that wasn't ours? How much of those adult shit did we carry? How much of the adult shit was put on us, right? How much were we torn in between adults' shit? Whatever. <laughs> we want to help the littles, you know, clear out that shit. They don't have to carry that into their adulthood. You know, let's help our littles on the outside, right? Not have to carry so much shit into their adulthood that they just have to clear off and go, this wasn't mine to carry from the beginning, whatever that is. I don't know. What is that for you? But that's my grief and my sorrows. And I'm a mother. So uh, it's only natural. It's my children. It's also a special interest uh, for the autistic side of me. You know, I studied and studied and studied the parenting and, and human development and all that. That's been, uh, you know, feels like that's been taken from me. And it has been, right? We look at our own responsibility, but these things, there's exceptions when it comes to abuse because we don't bring abuse on ourselves. We don't choose abuse. Maybe on some level before we became into this experience. <laughs> but it's human beings. The child does not choose to be abused, okay? So, all right, let's carry on here. And all the more reason, right? If we have grown through abuse, do that self-care for us, okay? We're not responsible for what happened to us, but we're responsible to heal that and fix it. You know, we're, we're responsible to not continue to abuse ourselves with it, to continue to carry it when it is not ours to carry. Let's lovingly release it back, you know? Lovingly release it back. Do everything with love, all right? Fighting gets more fighting. Love, more love. We do it all with love. We don't seek revenge. I still I still love my children's father. Without him, I wouldn't have my children. So I don't regret any of that. None of it. Never will. Self-discipline is self-caring. Set a one-word intention for the day. What do you want to accomplish? Okay, we just had that one. So let's do one more with that. What do you want to accomplish for today? All right, we take it one day at a time, one step at a time. One tear at a time. I don't know. What is that for, for you? Right? Let's not overwhelm ourselves. Because, you know, the world can be so overwhelming already. Adding a one more attention. Let's just have one, one card to go with that, please. And thank you. Just one. Uh, the reminders help, too, right? Yeah, that felt like one. That is just one that fell out. 
flick things in my hands. Body's not working properly. I'm so aching. I don't have the tincture that I usually make when I make for myself, and that makes a big difference in the body, in the achings, especially when the weather's all. I used to think my mother was crazy talking about the barometric pressures. Now, now I feel it. Now I feel it. The joints feel it. Oh yeah, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Mm -hmm. There comes a point. When we have to say, I am here to love my life and to figure out who I am and not who you think I should be. Set your intention for the day. What can you do to be more? Okay, fine. We've got to set an intention for the day. Maybe every morning we set that intention for the day. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting it. I got the hint. You get the hint? You got the hint? Okay, set the intention for the day. <laughs> Let's choose what our day is going to be. Let's not just be driven by... Or let's let just be like dragged around by whatever. Let's set our intentions and be purposeful with our days. That's that's, that's the one, saying, setting a one word intention. And this is, you know, set an intention for the day. How, what can you do to be more your authentic self? So whatever you have to do, you know, whatever it is you're doing, how can it be you doing it, right? Even if it's the same thing everybody else is doing, whatever. There's lots of people doing it. Nobody's got your flavor. So put your flavor into whatever you do. All right, so we're setting the intention for the day. Okay. <laughs> Go play. Play, play, play. I know it's uh, stingy, it's snowing. It's supposed to snow out there. It's cold, it's hot, it's wet, lucky, and blah, blah, blah. That's all right. That's all right. Part of the cycles of life, you know? We're going to swing it. Here we go. One path, one totem. There's one to path. And one totem that went with that. Another one that just went flying that way. And we got a path on the bottom. And the totem on the top. That earth connection. We're connecting with ourselves to that empowerment. That empowerment. Empowerment. It's not power over. Empowering those littles. That little inside. Empowering ourselves. Not having power over anybody. And having patience. Having patience. We didn't get this way overnight, right? And and, and and we're not having patience because maybe somebody didn't have patience with us. That's the secrets. Me, I don't know. What are those secrets you've kept even hidden from yourself? I don't know. What is that? We're having that patience with ourselves, patient with the cycles because there is movements and stuff happening. Always shift is happening. Shit happens and shift happens. <laughs> we can shift that shit. And make fertilizer out of it, right? Impeccably, oh, that's the stealth. When doing the stealth, we don't always see what's going on behind the scenes. We don't go into a restaurant and make an order and then go into the back and make sure they got all the ingredients and that they're tossing it the right way or whatever, right? So let's listen, right? We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And look at these messages that keep coming up into our life. Is there a recurring theme? Is there something that keeps coming up? Hmm, I don't know. I like the story of Weasel. It says that, that Weasel could pickpocket, uh, um, creator and the creator contemplating the divine navel i just i don't know that just seems i thought the divine navel makes me laugh <laughs> anyway what's the messages of your life are you having patience with yourself right because you're already all that yeah yeah that's right you're all that yeah the bag of chips whatever that is right greatest thing since sliced bread i don't know you beautiful beings, just believe that about you. You're loved and accepted just as you are. All right, empower yourself. Beautiful, beautiful beings. I love you all. Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you. Shining your light through in everything you do because you know what? This world needs you to be you, fully holy and true. Don't let that world miss out on all it's you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you choose to stay every day. Let's grow, grow, grow. Slow, slow, slow. And make this another wonderful, blessed day. All right, set your intention for today. All right, one word or whatever. All right, love you. Thank you.